Victor back with Rating My Subscriber Stone Bills Part 2. You guys absolutely crushed it on the first video. Since that first video went up, my DMs got flooded with sluts, same with my email. So we're going to have two Rating My Subscriber Snow Bills videos this week. We're going to have one today, and you guys are going to see one on Thursday. So if you guys don't see your slut in today's video, be on the lookout for it Thursday, because it'll make it in there Thursday. After this week, if you guys want to see these again next week, Instagram's going to be on the screen. Go ahead and send me a DM. Also, I will drop my email in the description. If you guys want to email me your sleds, that's cool too. I'm not rating your sleds on how new or old they are, because I truthfully do not care. If you are out there enjoying the sport, riding a sled, that's all that matters to me. It's all love here. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first sled. All right, first sled, Tristan here sent me a DM with a video of his sled saying, can you rate my sled? I'm going to pop the video up on the screen and then we'll talk about a sled. All right, so Tristan, beautiful Mach Z there. It sounds insane. It looks good. It looks like it's fast as hell. You don't see those sleds too often, especially like cleaned up and built up like that. Uh, beautiful sled. I'm going to go ahead and give you a seven. All right, Mr. Travis here. Mr. Travis has a 2018 850 Summit with only 500 miles. It has a GGB Mountain Can custom front bumper and back bumper. It also looks like he has a uh, Pro Ride Pro RMK and another Skidoo Summit. So man, you got three beautiful sleds there. Uh, obviously the 850 Summit only has 500 miles. You got a few custom parts on it, got an exhaust, beautiful sled. The RMK is wrapped, looks pretty sweet. I like the wrap. And the other Summit looks fairly stock. I'm gonna go ahead and collectively rate all these sleds together as a seven. We got Mr. Drew here. He looks like he has a form of a Articat Mountain Sled. Like I've always said, I'm not familiar with Articats, I'm sorry, but it looks like a Articat Mountain Sled. It looks like it's done up pretty well. I like the black and green. I like the D-badge, no decal look. Looks like he's got Fox floats on the front. Might be an aftermarket rear bumper, correct me if I'm wrong. Sled looks badass, man. I really like the D-badge look. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you another seven. Got Jake here. 2016 Indy SP 600, 121 with a 1.75 paddle, white pro steer skis, full wrap, Jaws race can, and a PDF snow flap. Um, Right off the bat, dude, that wrap is absolutely insane. I love, love that aqua blue color. Like, I'm pretty sure my next color is going to be aqua blue. I love the aqua blue with the white. Jake also has a 2014 Pro RMK 860 Big Bore 163 with a 3-inch paddle. Um, this is so much stuff to list off on this sled that I'm just not going to sit here and read it. I'm going to put the screenshot on the screen. You guys can see for yourself what this sled has on it. But, man, I love the purple on the sled. Love the wrap. That thing looks fully built. Um, that looks like a blast to ride. You're getting a 9. We got Connor here. Connor has a 2013 Pro RMK 800 with a 2020 Patriot 850 crate motor, Carl's 900cc big bore kit. He's got the Kurtz gear down kit, SOP twin pipes, Ice Age rails, Fox shocks, full Arctic FX wrap, changed everything himself and powder coated by himself. A little video here, we'll throw that up on the screen. Okay, sled sounds amazing. I am curious on how you did the 850 crate motor inside of an 800. That is pretty awesome. Just for that alone and how beautiful your sled is, you're gonna go ahead and get a 10. That's awesome. Logan here, he has two sleds. He has, it looks like a Yamaha, like the newer snow scoots, kind of like the Players 120s, but the Yamaha version. He said it has a snow flap delete. Uh, he's doing a nice little tail standard for the boys there. And he also has a Renegade. The Renegade looks fairly stock. He said it's got handguards and a windshield bag. Honestly, if you went ahead and put like a black windshield on this and maybe a wrap, this sled look insane. But other than that, it's pretty stock. Um, this little Yamaha snow scoot thing, that's badass. Um, I love those. Those look so fun to play with. I'm going to go ahead and give you a six. Dan here has a 2017 Skidoo Renegade Enduro 800. This sled looks sweet. I like it blacked out. And I also like the Skidoo, how it says Skidoo in that color. It's kind of like a sandstone color. I think it's a pretty cool color. Um, looks like he has high gear suspension sticker so i'm not sure if he's running aftermarket suspension or not but just from what i can see here nice looking sled but i'm gonna go ahead and give you a six all right we got another skidoo summit so the skidoo boys are pulling out today ryan here has a skidoo summit with 8,000 kilometers on it i'm not too sure what that converts to in miles but i'm pretty sure it's a pretty high mileage sled if i'm not mistaken and he said he's had it since day one and kept it in tip-top shape and it honestly looks like man it looks like that sled does not have a scratch on it um good looking sled i'm gonna go ahead and give it a six Last year has an 05 Skidoo MXZ Rev that he bought in May, and he, it was a 121 originally, and he sent his monitor with a 144 tunnel extension with a 144 skid and track, and this is his first sled. Now, dude, 
that is awesome. It looks so cool with the track extension. I like the graphics kit you got on there. Um, yeah, dude, that's a badass sled. I'm gonna go ahead and give you eight. B Kurtz here has a 2021 KS850 155 with a 2.75 lug, quick drive to full wrap, front and rear bumpers, headlight delete, straight line performance trail can, RSI bars, and seat cover, and a few other things. This is literally the sled I want, a 850 KS with the quick drive too, and Dude, that sled is done up absolutely gorgeous. I love the RSI bars. The wrap looks dope. I'm going to go ahead and give you a 10 on that one. That sled's gorgeous. Lucas here has a Pro RMK, it looks like. This has got a wrap. Um, he says he has Ice Age boogie rails on it too. RSI bar. He has the PIDD display, which I have. It's a great display. And obviously, like I said, a wrap. Um, good looking sled, man. I'm going to go ahead and give you an 8. All right, we got Miguel here. Miguel has a 2016 Switchback Assault 800 144, 2-inch lug, and a 2015 Switchback Pro S 800 137. So he's got two sleds. The Assault looks awesome. I like the black and blue combo. That Pro S, that's a sweet stock factory color combination. I've always liked that black, white, and red look. Um, two gorgeous sleds, man. I'm going to go ahead and give you a 7. Jerome has two 2020 850s, um, MBRP exhaust, and boondocker clutch kits, and an Alpha 1 800. So the Alpha 1 is an awesome sled. I've always wanted to get on one and see what that model rail ride's like. And I see the Chaos, and I see the Pro RMK. Those are three gorgeous sleds. I'm going to go ahead and give you an 8. Andrew here has a 2015 Skidoo Freeride 154 with an Arctic FX wrap, GGB mountain can, clutch quick clickers, CFR bars and risers, and he said he took the headlights covers off, and yeah, I have a soft spot for free rides. I've never personally ridden a free ride, but I, they just look cool, they look fun, like I've always thought a free ride would be an awesome sled to have, um, and this one is no exception to looking cool, this one's a really sweet looking sled. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an eight. Bryce here has a 2012 MXZ 600 E Tech, new windshield, new handguards, and GGB mountain can. Sled looks good. It looks a little stock though. If you went ahead and put a wrap on this sled, I feel like it'd completely change the game and make it look ten times better. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give you a six. Light in here has a 2005 Articat F7. He says all stock except for a homemade can and power mad handguards. So I'm really curious on the homemade can. How did you do that? How does the sled run with a homemade can? Um, Lady, if you're watching this, go ahead and comment down below and let me know because I'd actually really like to know. And yeah, sled looks sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a six. Here here has a 2008 MXZ 800. He has rail extensions, a riser, rich jet kit, GGB trail cam, clutch kit, and a lot more. He says, and yeah, it looks awesome. I do like the snow camel wrap on there. Sled looks sweet. He's got a snow camel wrap. Uh, obviously got some motor work done to it. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a seven. Brennan here has a 2001 Polaris 550 RMK, all stock other than a triple pipe. And now this sled is uh, extremely cool to me because. I used to have that same body style sled in an NDXC SP500 and it ripped. It's cool to see how mountain sleds have gone from like what we're looking at right here to what's sitting right behind me. It's like the progression is insane. And I honestly say, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a seven. All right, Mr. Bryce here. Mr. Bryce has a 2006 player Switchback 600. That color scheme is cool. It always reminded me of the IQRs. I don't know why. It's just like every time I saw this color scheme on these sleds, I like pictured it as being a race sled, especially with the racing sticker on the side for your number. So yeah, cool looking sled, man. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a six. Daylin, I think I, that's how you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I messed it up, but Daylin has a 2018 Polaris XCR Rush 860 Big Bore BMP pipe, MBRP trail can, re-geared clutch, and it has a black low windshield on it right now. It's a black diamond 860 Big Bore, but it was originally an 800 motor. Um, obviously the sled's got a rip. You got it stuck in a dish. That looks pretty fun, man. I wish I was out riding right now. Oh yeah. Sled looks fairly stock, but um, obviously it's a sleeper because you got a lot done under the hood. I'm going to go ahead and give you a 7. All right, we're going to do a couple more for today and then save the rest for Thursday's video. Justin here has a 2019 Polaris Pro RMK 850 with a 3-inch paddle. Obviously, it's in lime squeeze, so I immediately like it. The Backwoods BMP bumper, Rogue Concepts bumper, and tunnel support, HPS can, and a TKI belt drive. The second sled is a 2013 Assault RMK 800 with a 155. It has a silver turbo, CNA skis, Bully Dog GT tuner to monitor his boost, coolant temp, and pretty much anything you can imagine. Both sleds are 155s. Um, that sled looks awesome too. My buddy Brandon has a sled very similar to that, but he has the Switchback Assault version and his is red. But um, once again, I would just put like a low black windshield on it, maybe a wrap and call it a day. But um, do like the orange, big fan of orange sleds. I'm going to go ahead and give you a 9. All right, this is going to be the last sled for today's video. 2020 Players 850, 163 3-inch lug with SLP twins, TKI belt drive, CNS clutching, Fox QS3 front and rear shocks, and he also has a 2019 Skidoo Freeride 165 with the 850 and a MBRP race can. So first of all, what do you think of the SLP twin pipes? Because I've been really considering running those. Skidoo Freeride looks awesome. I've always, like I said in the video earlier, I love the Skidoo Freerides. I think they're a badass sled. I just, I, I don't know, I love my Polaris, so it'd be kind of hard for me to switch. Um, both sleds seem badass. I'm going to give you an 8. 
So that's gonna be it for rating my subscriber snowmobiles part two. I'm sorry for sledding at making the video. We just don't have enough time in these videos to fit 60 sleds. That's why I've got to break it up. So like I said, if you guys did not see your sled in today's video, be back here Thursday. We will have your sled in the video Thursday. If you guys want to submit your sled and you haven't already, Instagram's going to be right here. I'll put my email down in the description too if you guys want to shoot me an email. That works too. I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've been giving me and all the amazing feedback I've been getting on recent videos. It's honestly motivated me so much to come out here and create content for you guys and do what I can. So thank you guys for all the support, and I hope you guys continue to support and watch the video. So that being said, if you guys like his video, I want you guys to smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. Comment down below whose sled is your favorite and what you guys are thinking of the series if we should keep this going. Like I always say, if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I foot on the gas, foot on the gas. Living too fast, living too woke. It's not where you been, nah, nah. Boy, where you at? Hey. Don't tell me relax.